Hi, I'm Mark, and today I'm going to be bringing you a review of the Microsoft Lumia 640. The Lumia 640 came out in April 2015 and is priced at around £130, making it a low to mid-range Windows phone. Microsoft have kept a fairly simple design for the Lumia 640. The black model has a nice design that fits comfortably in your hand. On one side you have the lock button and volume controls. On the base is the micro USB port and then on the top of the phone is the headphone jack. The Lumia 640 has a plastic removable back which allows you to add in a memory card up to 128GB and when the phone only comes with 8GB storage and half of that is used by the operating system you're probably going to need to expand that memory. Inside the Lumia 640 is a 1.2GHz quad-core processor with 1GB of RAM. The phone also has built-in Bluetooth, Wi-Fi and is both 3G and 4G ready. Microsoft claimed that the Lumia 640 has up to 17.5 hours talk time on 3G. And whilst this isn't too bad for battery life, realistically you'll still be charging your phone about once a day. The screen on the Lumia 640 is a good looking 5 inch screen which looks pretty good and feels reasonably responsive. As with most smartphones, the Lumia 640 has two cameras. The front facing camera is a 1 megapixel camera which doesn't produce great results but is fine for selfies. The rear facing camera is a slightly more impressive 8 megapixel camera with autofocus and LED flash. It's not packed with features but it can take a reasonable photo. The rear facing camera can also take full HD video and I found that when shooting it the phone was quite quick to focus. The Microsoft Lumia 640 is running the latest Windows 8.1 software which seemed to work reasonably well on the phone. Although I did find that sometimes the apps lagged a little bit and also that starting the phone up for the first time took forever. The operating system is also significantly different from Android and Apple, which means it does take some getting used to initially, and I found that some of the functions weren't particularly intuitive. The advantage of a Windows phone is how easily it integrates with other Microsoft products. The phone has Microsoft Office installed and allows you to easily access and update your documents via OneDrive. The built-in apps also make it easy to make calls, send messages, manage your diary and browse the internet. On top of that you also have Cortana, Microsoft's voice control app. I found this easy to get used to and that it recognised my voice pretty well and could respond to commands. Of course the built in media apps make it easy to browse photos, listen to your music and watch videos. Although as the phone doesn't come with a detachable micro USB cable you'll have to buy one before hooking the phone up to your computer to transfer your music. You also have access to the store where you can download additional apps and games for your phone. Microsoft is still playing catch up with their store and so you'll notice some apps like Snapchat and an official YouTube app are still missing. However, there's still enough apps to get you going and these allow you to do anything from check the news, find out what your gift gaff balance is or play games to pass the time. Overall, the Microsoft Lumia 640 is incredibly good value and a perfectly usable phone. Personally, I found Windows quite difficult to get used to and also found that the store lacked some of the apps that I'd expect to find. However, the phone does pack in a lot of features for the money. For those reasons, I give the Lumia 640 a 7 out of 10. I hope you found this review helpful, and I'll see you guys again soon.